Hey everybody, welcome to this uh, VHF UHF channel, and some of you will say, yay, VHF UHF video. Uh, <laughs> so uh, August 1st through August 4th is Slow Scan TV on the International Space Station. So this is my new laptop, the uh, Nitro 5 from Acer, which is a gaming laptop. And I have installed, of course, MMSS TV on this thing. And of course, to the left, we have the trusty old ICOM ICR8500. It is on my old laptop with uh, Ham Radio Deluxe and the Ham Radio Deluxe tracking, satellite tracking. This will be controlling the Doppler shift all along the path of the International Space Station. As you see here, it's coming in the next, uh, in 24 minutes, I should have an acquisition of signal. Uh, and we should have, hopefully, some uh, interesting decoding of slow scan TV pictures. So this is what's coming up as we are going to uh, decode some SSTV. It's always fun to decode slow scan TV from the International Space Station. And know that, you know, you're actually listening in uh, to a, uh, something that, you know, a signal that comes from space. It's just, just that is already cool. Now, um, in the European passes, there's a lot of reports of very low audio. So let's cross our fingers that the audio here will be actually better and that they have fixed the problem because last time, that's what happened. It plagued the uh, International Space Station slow scan TV uh, pictures because the signal was just way too low. So right now I'm on the uh, Burlington NOAA station. Monday night, mostly clear. So when I'm gonna, when it's the International Space Station gets close, what I do is I, I'll put a little check mark in receive here, which will automatically control my radio. Uh, I'm using a USB cable that's plugged here, and a USB controller that's down there plugged in the back of this receiver. So it's computer controlled through a serial to USB adapter and uh, this is gonna actually follow the Doppler shift. And of course, I'm gonna post a video of the reception. Whether it's good or not, I'm gonna post it anyway. So you guys are gonna see how it works. It's kinda cool when you think about it. And of course, on the new laptop, I'm gonna be using only the microphone from the laptop. I'm not going to actually be uh, plugging it in with a cable. We're gonna see how it works. Um, you know, in a quiet environment with strong enough audio, I think it's gonna work fine. So uh, I'll be, of course, uh, decoding the slow scan TV picture from this setup. So uh, one laptop with MMSS TV. And by the way, if you have only one computer, you can have the computer control software or you can uh, just run, you know, a regular uh, like Arbitron and have MMSS TV actually running within the same computer. Uh, usually works fine. Uh, MMSS TV for decoding slow scan TV doesn't require a lot of power. Also, if you have an Android tablet or phone, you can use Robot 36, which is a nice uh, software also for decoding slow scan TV. Um, I'm not sure, I believe Robot 36 also exists for iPhone. Uh, but I know if, if it doesn't, I know that there are some slow scan TV decoding uh, software for iOS for iPhones and iPads also. So uh, waiting for the pass to happen. And of course, we'll be posting the results on the channel uh, as soon as this happens. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thanks for watching.